Paranoid team have rolled out quads for most of the Android devices, adding few new features. In this video, let's take a look at the features added on quads 4. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Right now you can see here I have my OnePlus 60 on which I am running Paranoid Android Quads 4. Let me show you the software information and these are the software information. Android version is Android 10. Paranoid Android version is Quads 4. We get the security patch of 5th July 2020. With this latest build of Quads 4, now we get a complete experience like stock ROM on any Android device. This build is pretty smooth. I have been using this build since yesterday and I haven't found any kind of bugs yet. This is the first custom ROM which will give you a feeling like stock ROM. And with Quads 4, lots of improvements have been done related to performance and the touch. We have already done review on Quads 3 and Quads 2. So basically in this video, we'll cover all the new features added on Quads 4. And most of you guys have been asking me when this Paranoid Android will come for OnePlus 7. Mostly with the next build, we'll be getting support for OnePlus 7 also as per the official statement from Paranoid team. So this is our quick setting panel. Swiping towards the right hand side will open up Google feed. And quick setting panel consists of a lot of things like live caption, dark theme which completely changes the system UI to dark including supporting apps. We get night mode, you can also calibrate your screen. On Quads 4 we get basic AOSP camera but instead of that you can use the Google camera application. I made a dedicated video on Google camera for OnePlus 6 series. I'll leave the video link in the description below. You can use that camera. And it's an official build so whenever we get any update on the same you can directly update from the system update section. If we talk about the change logs of Quads 4, in which first they have updated the security patch to July. So on our device you can see security patch is now 5th July 2020. After that Paranoid team have also added the app locker feature with Quads 4. So that can be found inside the security settings. Here we have the option of locking all the applications. From where you can also hide the notification content of the application and we also have option to authenticate only once. So you can choose any app which you want to include inside the app locker. So this was one of the most awaited feature on Paranoid Android. Another new feature what they have added with Quads 4 is related to face unlock where you can now choose swipe up to unlock and we have another option of always require confirmation when using face unlock for applications. And this was the most awaited feature of screen recording on any Android device. Actually this is a feature of Android 11 but with Quads 4 Paranoid team have added this feature in which you can also record the internal audio while recording the screen and if you are using microphone that audio can also be recorded. Internal audio support was not available on the previous builds but now they have added with the Quads 4 and it's a quite helpful feature for recording games like PUBG. Then they have also added the full gestural navigation mode support. So here we have the system navigation from where you can change the sensitivity, gesture bar can be resized. And then you can also choose the amount of screen to be used as touchable region. You can also hide the navigation bar pill. And later they have also updated the volume panel version to version 1.1. And with Quads 4 they have also decreased the brightness of finger on display on OnePlus devices. While unlocking the device on previous build, the screen used to light up a lot. But that has been fixed with latest Quads 4. Then they have also added the long press to turn on torch which can be enabled from the gesture section. At the bottom you will find an option of quick torch and you can enable that from here. So when your device screen is locked you just need to long press the power key to enable torch. And again long press to disable torch. And at last they have also added the status bar icon manager which can be found inside the display settings icon manager from where you can control all the status bar icons. And if you talk about the last change log where they have fixed the AAC codec support for all devices, wherein AAC means advanced audio coding. So guys, these were the new additions done with Paranoid Android Quads 4. If you talk about the benchmark results using Geekbench application, single core have scored 497 and multi core have scored 2337. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 361,647. And sorry guys, I couldn't show you the results because by mistakely I uninstalled this application. But I had the records of benchmark test. So guys, this was a quick look on Paranoid Android Quads 4. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.